Hello. We're in 1963 now for the first episode of the fourth season of the classic Twilight Zone. This was aired in January of 63. So we're now um, well and truly underway. Um, the episode is In His Image. And uh, it starts with this very unsettling scene at a um, subway station where an old woman gets shoved in front of a train. That old woman is uh, Catherine Squire, uh, who actually starred in When Harry Met Sally as part of the old couple in the sort of documentary part of that uh, movie, which is, you know, it's a bit of a random thing. Um, part of the introduction, when Rod says that this is not, you know, this could be the end of a particularly terrifying nightmare, it isn't, it's the beginning, that gets sampled into Michael Jackson's uh, Threatened from uh, his 2001 album, I think. Um, there is a, m a mention of the changing of the guard when they're driving to... Hi, Kat. When they're driving to uh, Corville. And I think that's a reference to the, um, the last episode of the third season uh, by that very name. Alan experiences this sort of noise uh, he keeps hearing as he's malfunctioning and uh, that gets augmented later on with the sort of glaring light from underneath which reminded me a lot of the Purple Testament. I uh, remember the, the, the guy who could saw, see sort of lights on top of people's faces uh, when they were about to die. So it was reminiscent of that. There's a little stunt. When he gets out of the way of the car, it's a very nice stunt. I like it. They timed it really well. He doesn't get hit by the car, but he gets out of the way at just the right moment, just like a good stunt person should. This is also first of a longer format of episodes. Uh, this is the first episode that has a mid-episode ad break, and uh, this is, you know, what they chose for this season. Um, I, I mean, I like the format. It works out great. You also get the sort of end part where you not only get to hear about next week's episode, but you also get to see pieces of it, which I think can be pretty cool. Um, the uh, wrist gets damaged, of course, and he, he pulls up this little flap and looks at the broken wiring. And it's very reminiscent of uh, Terminator 1. Uh, but of course not quite as gory where, where Arnold would, you know, reach in and, and, and grab, uh, pieces of, of his wrist to sort of manipulate his hand and stuff. That is luckily not in this. It's just broken. Um, there's some good use of split screens. Uh, when Walter is talking to Alan, uh, you can tell in particular that they put some love into this because, um, there are scenes where, where Walter's shadow is on Alan. So they had an actor actually standing next to him and, and doing the lines, I guess, uh, for timing, uh, rather than just sort of making a cut and then, well, you're on the other side anyway. So uh, they, they did that really well, and I appreciate that detail. The final shot I'm not too crazy about, uh, mostly because the, the arm looks really, really rubbery, and uh, that, that sort of ruins it a bit. And also because they couldn't do a still shot uh, I mean, the episode starts on a still shot, essentially, in the subway, and that's just a piece of architecture, but you can still spot it very easily that that's just a still of the tunnel. And if they did that to Alan being dead, you would easily have seen it. And now, uh, he, instead, you get, you know, you can see his neck moving. I think he's holding his breath, but, but you can still see the sort of the pulse on his collar. Uh, next week's episode is uh, The 30 Fathom Grave. Uh, which I look forward to, but I also wanted to mention that there's something um, there's something in this episode that reminds me of uh, a Dylan Dog um, comic strip, and I don't know if you read Dylan Dog, but um, he gets involved in this town where everyone repeats the same day over and over. Uh, they're undead in that case, and then there's someone who starts breaking that cycle, and there was something about that in the way Alan acted, that he he seems like he's out of the cycle uh, when he's interacting with the people of Corville uh, because he's just been out of it for 20 years and now he's sort of back uh, into it. Um, but it gave off sort of the same vibe. Um, yeah. 
I don't know the name of that actual episode though. And that's never been shot. You only there's only like one Dylan Dog movie, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, next is some submarining, and I will see you next week for that. Take care now. Bye.